Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today is the last installment of my pack with me for my Emirates Euro trip. So by now I have already released how I packed my cosmetics and toiletries. My first leg, which is Dubai and Italy, more warm weather. My second leg, London and Paris, including some event wear. Third leg, well, there is no third leg. <laughs> This component is what bags I've decided to take with me and can I tell you this has been so hard in fact I'm still kind of considering swapping in and out. I'll start with the easiest choice of them all and that is the tote that I'm taking and that is my Louis Vuitton GM Neverfull with my straw hat attached. This bag is just so good I've got an organizer in it now from Zamoni that's open but I'm hoping that before I go away that I will have a zippable organizer to put inside of this bag and and I will be able to review that for you when I'm on the go because as you know it's a big cavernous space and if it does topple over things can fall out and when you're traveling you just don't want to be losing things like your passport so I am keen to see how the zip up organizer works and I will share that with you for sure. If you're interested in organizers for your bags, I have a discount code with Simone and I am now an affiliate. So I will receive a small commission should you choose to purchase using my code. Inside of my bag, um, I have more bags. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're interested to know what I've packed carry on, let me know and I'll make that video for you in Dubai. But I have decided that the bag that I will carry around the airport with my passport and bits and pieces in it, crossbody is my Louis Vuitton soft trunk, trunk clutch. Discontinued, there's a couple of reasons for this. One, I'm going to be doing an excursion with Louis Vuitton and I need a Louis Vuitton bag. Now, Meredith was like, if you're only taking that bag because of the Louis Vuitton thing, don't worry about it, I will bring a bag for you to carry. I'm like, I actually think I could make this work because it is crossbody and a, you know, something I discovered is I needed to take more crossbody bags with me. It's monogram, it looks great at night. Um, I think that it's a good bag to carry around the airport because I will wear it crossbody. As I said, I keep saying, but you can wear it as a clutch and I think it goes nicely with the GM. So yes, I will be logoed up, I don't care. I have my old faithful, rollerboard luggage and all I put in this one is my handbags and my travel jewelry. Everything is packed in its dust bag so it prevents it from scratching. The first bag I'm taking is the one I bought for this trip is my Prada kind of torpy crossbody bag. I'm really looking forward to using this because it looks super comfortable. Um, it is super comfortable. I've been wearing it here. It has a great capacity and it's a great neutral. It goes with everything. I can wear a crossbody which is fantastic. Actually, I do need to get my Fendi O-lock chain so I have the option of this at night, or do I? No, I don't. It's fine, it's fine. Now, the next piece I rescued from a vlog sale that Connor was looking after for me, and that's the bag I bought when I last went to Paris, which is this Valentino camera bag. It goes with everything that I am packing. If you don't know what I'm packing, check out those videos. I will link them in the description box below. Um, it's just a great easy bag, good capacity. The only thing with it is it doesn't have a removable strap, but it is great crossbody and on the shoulder. And I need those options. I just do. If you haven't seen the unboxing for this one, it's my new baby. And uh, she's getting a lot of airtime this trip. It's my vintage Fendi Raffia baguette with the marble handle. Um, obviously this is not a crossbody, it's a over the shoulder top handle carry clutch. So I did need to make sure that I had some crossbody options as I keep saying. Also I see this one for dinner or like casual days out, um, not so much an exploring kind of bag. But inside I have this bag which I intend to use as my kind of special events bag um when i'm out and about and i want a little bit of sparkle and she fits beautifully inside of this vintage baguette i just have to be careful when i pop her in that i don't flick any sequins off because it is a very snug fit 
But why would I travel with a sequin bag? Because it's me and I want to. So that's five bags plus the Neverfull, six if you include the Prada tote. <laughs> I want options. I just want options, all right? Um, now, in terms of jewellery, um, I wear my fine jewellery. I don't take it with me because I don't want to leave it alone. The best place is for it to be on me, not left behind somewhere. So in terms of fashion jewellery, I'm just taking some really pretty fashion jewellery. I have my Oscar de la Renta earrings because aren't they so fun? I also have these other Oscar de la Renta earrings because aren't they so fun? Um, for Louis Vuitton, I have the Cruiser ear jackets. Um, so I'll be wearing those. I have some Swarovski kind of green crystal earrings, which again, super fun, but none of them are really expensive pieces. So if someone did try and steal from me, they wouldn't crush me. I have my Fendi Olock earrings. And what else am I taking? I have my Bulgari Galusha bangles because they kind of highlight the different pieces that I'm wearing and they all go really nicely together. So that is the extent of the handbags I'm taking. I tell you what, it was really tough to decide. Um, I've been chatting to a friend of mine who's in Rome right now and there's a chance that I might be able to go and see where made to orders are organized. And wouldn't it be wonderful if I could take my made to order bag to its place of origin and get a picture there? I think it would just be dreamy. The problem is it has crocodile and I would need CITES for that. And I have a CITES certificate. It just scares me a little bit traveling with it, but I totally could. And I feel like it's an opportunity I really need to consider. <laughs> Look at the face, I know, I'm crazy. Um, yeah, and by the time you see this video, I would have already left. And so how will I know what your advice is? I don't know, I'm just talking to myself at the moment. I guess we will see. It'll be a secret, won't it, if I take it and, um, and I'm able to take it back to its origins and um, yeah. It makes me teary just thinking about it. Woo! Anyway, if you want to see what happens, please subscribe to my channel because who knows, anything could happen. That's what holidays are all about. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Tell me what bags you love taking, traveling with you. Do you need to have crossbodies? Do you like having handheld? Do you like a tote? What are your preferences? Are you a backpack person? Can't do backpacks. I feel like Dora the Explorer. Anyway, enough about that. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting. I will link my playlist for this trip in the description box below so you can keep up to date with all of the things that I've packed, all of my adventures whilst I'm away, and yeah, just my content generally. I'd love to see you back here. Until then, ciao.